for the next battle. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got some unexpected news to share with you all. Recently found out that my ex-boyfriend, Kevin Curtis Chasky, has apparently found someone new. And get this, they made through a text and ate match. I know, I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. I don't have Curtis on my PlayStation friends list anymore, and I'm pretty sure he blocked me after our breakup. So, I've been trying to figure out who this mystery girl is. I'm not gonna lie, it hurts to think that he might have moved on so quickly. We were together for a while, and I thought we had something real. But I'm trying not to jump to conclusions or make assumptions. Maybe they're just gaming buddies. The thing is, I'm curious. Who is this girl? Is she a fellow gamer? Did they really meet through Tech and 8? I know it sounds silly, but I need to know. I've been trying to investigate further, but it's hard when I don't have any leads. I've asked our mutual friends if they know anything, but no one seems to know who's- I'm not trying to be dramatic or stir up drama. I just want to understand what happened. Did Curtis leave me for someone else? Was there someone else in the picture the whole time? I've been thinking a lot about our relationship and what went wrong. I thought we had something special, but I guess I was wrong. Maybe I was just a placeholder until someone better came along. I don't know, maybe I'm just being too hard on myself. Maybe Curtis and I were just meant to be friends. I'll keep you all updated if I find out anything more about this mystery girl. I might even try to reach out to her and see if she's willing to talk. I know some of you might be thinking, Sarah, why are you so invested in this? Oh gee, you're better off without him. And believe me, I know that. But the thing is, I deserve closure. I deserve to know what happened and why he moved on so quickly. I'm not trying to be petty or obsessive. I just want to understand. And who knows, maybe this mystery girl can provide some answers. I've been thinking about reaching out to her, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Like, what if she doesn't want to talk to me? What if she's not even interested in sharing her side of the story? I don't know, maybe I'm just being too curious for my own good. But I have to know. I'll keep you all updated on any developments if I do decide to reach out to her, or I'll let you know how it goes. And if I find out any more information about her, I'll share that too. You know, it's funny. When Curtis and I were together, he always said that he loved me for who I am, gaming habits, and all. But now, it seems like he's moved on to someone who shares his love for Tekken 8. And I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. People move on, and they find new things that make them happy. But that doesn't mean I'm not still hurt. That doesn't mean I'm not still trying to figure out what happened. I know I'll get through this. I know I'll find someone who loves me for who I am, gaming habits and all. And who knows, maybe I'll even find someone who can beat me at Tekken 8. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all later.